Hello people, I promised I was going to show you my two um, decks of cards that I found. Um, they're both low Scarabeo decks, as you can see here on the side of this box. This is the Kala Chakra Oracle cards, the Serenity of Buddha and the Mystic Hindu bring meditation and wisdom. Okay, that might be a weird translation or something. It is um, uh, probably originally from the 90s, I would guess, by the design. I um, think these are quite nice, uh, really thin, very sturdy cards, as we're used to from Los Carabeo. I have to say that I found both these decks on Amazon for, well, rather ridiculous prices, in my opinion. This one, not so much. The Color Chakra is, um, was on Amazon for 30 US dollars. This is how many cards, really? Uh, 32, yes. So that's a dollar a card, <laughs> which is what I tend to think. Um, I paid 6.95 euros, and that is $7.80 in American dollars and ten and a half Canadian for you guys out there who use that type of money. Um, yeah, so they come in this little box, very, um, you know, pleasant to work with really. I uh, You can just open it like this, it's got this little uh, split at the back where they come out more easily and they come with a little tiny, teeny weeny, I should say, a uh, little white book looks like this where there's actually uh, five languages in or something like that and you get for example uh, number one Maitreya the Buddha of the future reveals the road to be followed and supports your desires so number two Siddhartha there he is with his um, food bowl I suppose beggar's bowl the historical Buddha provides divine protection and concrete support, infuses hearts with love. I think this is not so bad at all. Um, some of the images are a bit on the... I don't know. I don't know. The, the colours are fine. I like the colours. Some of them are just... The faces are... Not quite so expressive. You can see, right, that this is an old school type deck, really. So I suppose that most of this is interesting for people who collect uh, either Los Carabeo decks or would, if you're really interested in in um, in Buddhism decks, that type of thing, then that will uh, appeal to you. I got this deck in particular for the uh, the Buddhist background. Um, I will use it, definitely haven't yet, because I wanted to show you uh, the cards in order as they are. Let me put this back in a pile so that I can show them to you. Maitreya, sorry for the sunlight, it's very much... Oh yeah, these are the backs, of course, with four Buddhas, four times the same Siddhartha figure, really. Um... They're small. My hands are small. So these are small cards. Ananda. Joy. Well known. Um, I have been uh, introduced to a lot of Indian, Vedic, uh, Buddhist, Hindu type philosophy um, in a very early stage of my life, really. So there, I don't necessarily always know the terms, but I'm comfortable with this type of uh, this type of imagery. Many of them look also a bit like the uh, Buddhist uh, Tibetan uh, prayer cloths with uh, mandalas on them, the uh, thangkas, you know. You know what I mean, wall, wall hangings. Uh, Kala chakra is here. I always thought of that as black chakra, but I may, may, may be mistaken. It's actually a tree. I like this card. It's rather simple it's got these patterns are you know reminiscent very much of textile it's not so bad i would never have paid 30 dollars which would be like 25 and a bit uh euros or something let me look up the color chakra meaning here 
Um, here we have it. The Oracle of Peace, represented by the Cosmic Tree, gives you excellent energy. Oh yes, there's a U for the reversed meaning. Um, be more careful, you risk losing a great opportunity. I would say that type of interpretation, the U stands for upside down card. Okay. Um, the type of interpretation would tend to, you know, try and make it more practical than it necessarily has to be. So, Vajra Sattva. I would use these for eh, some type of meditation purposes or to learn about um, Buddhist thought, really. I like this. It actually looks really nice on the screen. Don't you think so? So, there's quite a difference in cards. I'm not going to pretend to pronounce all these names for you. Um, Utpadaneka. I am <laughs> I'm suspicious of this spelling because Los Carabeo is Italian and that Eka or Ekia is a, an ending of place names in Italy as well. So the spelling may well have been influenced by, um, yeah. Well, of course, they didn't use our type of lettering when uh, these were originally um, thought of. The dancing goddess. So there's all the meanings, and you can, it's like like I showed you in the little white book, it's really very succinct. The, the, the meanings are uh, just a, an invitation, really, to... Um, to learn more about these and some of these dancing figures are really very similar so I'd have to uh, it's really more or less the same drawing maybe with different colors and I'm interested in this also because the um, relationship towards the symbols will be different from the way we look at things we are in, certainly in Western Europe and in uh, Western so-called civilized society, we tend to, um, we have a, a much more analytical and or personal emotional response to, to imagery, which doesn't mean that those type of responses don't exist elsewhere in the world. But this is um, like a different evolutionary strand almost, I'd like to say, going from um, a worldview that is really very... Uh, very symbol oriented. Very different clothes here. Amrita, meaning uh, that's more or less the same thing as ambrosia would be. It's the food of the gods. Nah, I like that type of. A lot of this symbol stuff it, we can still use very well. So the posture and all these figures is really the same. And uh, I think that's actually rather. Pleasant. This is the Wante is the musician card. I remember reading about that yesterday. I don't really remember what she stands for. Anyway, you can look it up. You see, these this is what they look like. And um I find them now that I look at them again after all my travails in this week, I find them rather restful to look at. Here's a figure standing on two feet for once, and it has four arms um yeah so i'm glad that i got them especially for that price and uh, i may be going back to the shop to see what else they got because uh, they had they had several other los carabeo decks that i had never heard of and they're all more or less in this trend of um yeah rather what i would wouldn't mind calling old-fashioned in a in a good way Somehow it's it, it it's old fashioned, but it's not ugly. I like the rather striking red and blue and yellow and the cheerful cards really. And it also this isn't it funny how tints really can suggest a completely different culture. It feels very in northern Indian and Tibetan to me. Mountains and markets and yeah. I don't know, um, even China, Chinese influence. More arms, what looks like really fancy leggings. <laughs> Didn't they tell you that the stripes only are 
and slimming in the vertical direction. No, they didn't. Lots of symbol stuff. See all those shells? What are they? Are they just, uh, maybe they're tassels, not shells. Can't tell. I have to look it up. So I like it that there's this, all this stuff going on. It's actually more or less the same figure, but she's red. Marishika. Lots more to learn. So there they are. I hope you like these. And uh, obviously there's a distinction in the standing many-armed, six-armed, or what is it, eight-armed figures on the one hand and the dancing, um, yeah, normal two-armed figures. And then there's the, uh, the sitting Buddha and Siddhartha and Maitreya. So there, yeah, it, it looks almost like there's more of a system to it. And of course we have the um, Ananda card, the couple on the animal's back and the tree. And then there's another sitting figure, a couple of them. Okay, so I edged the lot in the same yellow. I had a marker of that yellow tint and that did a lot of good to this little deck. It's... Um, it just became, suddenly it becomes something uh, really, uh, like it's been, I don't know, <laughs> like it's worth um, a bit more now. When it comes out of the machine, it's just not, it just has these bald, naked, this nakedness that just begs for colour to be put on the sides of the cards. There you go. I hope you like my colour chakra deck. Um... On to the next one, the uh, cards of Nostradamus. There's more to tell about that. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.